Hello everyone. This is my 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray haul video for September 3rd. And in this video I have 14 to show you. 11 of them are 4K Ultra HDs and 3 of them are Blu-rays. And I've gotten these over the course of the last few weeks. And before I continue I would like to apologize for not being active as of late. Um, you know, work has kept me busy, and to be honest, I just hadn't had enough time or energy to do any any videos of any kind, whether it be a haul video or an unboxing video. I just haven't had the time or energy lately. So again, I, I apologize um, you know, if, if I've been inactive as of late. Uh, of course, my last video was the uh, unboxing of the Avengers Infinity War Steelbook from last month. Anyway, I have 14. I'll try to go through them as quickly as I can. Okay, I'll start with the Blu-rays. First is Tucker, The Man and His Dream. This is the 30th Anniversary Edition. This is from 1988. It is directed by Francis Ford Coppola and stars Oscar winner Jeff Bridges in the role of Preston Tucker. And I will, I will more than likely do a Blu-ray unboxing of this. So be on the lookout for it. And it's been a very long time since I've seen this film. So I'm looking forward to seeing it again after all this time. And again, that's Tucker, The Man and His Dream, the 30th Anniversary Edition. I got this for uh, $8.99 on eBay. As you can see, it's new and still in the shrink wrap. Okay, next is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the 25th Anniversary Blu-ray. And I got this for $6.19 on Amazon. It just arrived in the mail today. And the film is directed by Robert Zemeckis and stars Bob Hoskins and Christopher Lloyd. And it's been a very, very long time since I've seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, so I'm really looking forward to uh, checking it out after all this time. And to be honest, we're actually on the 30th anniversary of this movie. This, this movie came out in 1988, so... I'm surprised that Disney hadn't announced a, a 30th anniversary Blu-ray of this. But I guess since this this one has been out, since this Blu-ray has been out for five years, you know, you know, I guess they saw no reason to, they saw no reason to announce a new version of this right away. I will upgrade if they do a 4K version of this, but for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this, this 25th anniversary Blu-ray. But again, that's Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 25th Anniversary. Okay, next is Blue Velvet. And this is from 1986. And this is also a 25th Anniversary Blu-ray. And I got this for $8.99 on eBay. As you can see, uh, it is a used copy. And this film is directed by David Lynch. And it stars Kyle MacLachlan, Isabella Rossellini, Dennis Hopper, Laura Dern, and Dean Stockwell. And this is a brilliant film. This is this is definitely another one of uh, David Lynch's best films. And um, you know, I got now I have this along with along with the entire uh, Twin Peaks television series on Blu-ray. And I'm really looking forward to adding Wild at Heart on Blu-ray real soon. And I might add uh, Eraserhead, uh, the Criterion Blu-ray whenever Barnes and Noble does the um, the next Criterion sale, which will probably, which will be in uh, November. I'm still looking out for a uh, an announcement for the Elephant Man on Blu-ray. But anyway, that's Blue Velvet, the 25th anniversary edition. Okay, and next are the 4Ks. Okay, first are the Best Buy exclusive steelbooks of the Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron and I got these a few days after uh, Avengers Infinity War came out uh, these were $34.99 at the time in fact I still think in fact, I still think they're $34.99 at Best Buy if if any Best Buy has these left and I, I have to tell you these are very very nice looking steelbooks I especially like the one for Age of Ultron. In fact, I I do have the uh, original 
Avengers Age of Ultron Steelbook from back in 2015, which was the uh, Blu-ray 3D combo pack. And I have to say, I have to say this is a bet this is a better looking one. This is a I love I like this one a lot better than the uh original Age of Ultron Steelbook. So more than likely I'll be selling I'll, I'll be selling that one. But anyway, that's the Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron both in 4K. Okay, and the next three are Mission Impossible 2, 3, and Rogue Nation, the fifth, the fifth one. And uh, Mission Impossible 2, I got this for around $12 on uh, Mercari. Uh, if if some of you don't know what Mercari is, it is it's like a, you know, it, it's an app you can download on your phone. Uh, you know what? You, I, I'll I'll leave it to you to search for it, but it's called Mercari, M E R C R C A R I. But anyway, I got this for twelve dollars on Mercari. I got Mission Impossible three for uh, nineteen ninety six on Amazon, and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. It was originally. Twenty four ninety nine at Best Buy, but I had them price match Amazon's nineteen ninety six price, and I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how all these look in four K, and uh, especially uh, Mission Impossible three. I think the third Mission Impossible film is probably my personal favorite of the series, right next to Mission Impossible Fallout, and um, so now all I all I need to do is add. Ghost Protocol and the first film in 4K and and then my Mission Impossible collection will be complete until Mission Impossible Fallout makes its way to 4K. And uh, looking back on this, I think uh, the first Mission Impossible was probably my least favorite of the series, save for the uh, thrilling chain, the thrilling train sequence at the end of the film. But anyway. That's Mission Impossible 2, 3, and Rogue Nation, all in 4K. Okay, next is Deadpool 2, 4K, the Super Duper Cut. And as you can see, this is the Target exclusive, which includes the Not For Suitable Children's book. And this was $27.99 at Target. And to be honest, I'm glad I got this one over the uh, Best Buy Steelbook. And in fact, this was a, this was about a few dollars cheaper than the Best Buy Steelbook. And uh, what what sold me on this was the uh, was the included children's book. And uh, I'm lo I'm looking forward to watching the uh, the extended super duper cut of this. And whether or not I'll do a, uh, an unboxing of this, I have no idea. But um, if I don't, you know, there there are plenty of unboxing videos of this already. But anyway, that's Deadpool 2, the super duper cut. Oh yeah, and Josh Brolin is really good in this film as Cable. You know, he he did a he did a really good job as did Ryan Reynolds who reprises his role of Deadpool and uh Zaz Zazie Beats. Uh she plays uh, Domino and and uh, and she she stole the whole movie with, with her scenes in my opinion. But anyway, that's Deadpool 2, the super duper cut, the Target 4K exclusive. Okay, next is the Predator 3 movie collection in 4K. And I got this the other day at Best Buy for $39.99. It includes Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. And this has come out uh, this is this is time for the uh, release of the new Predator film named The Predator. I mean, how original can you be? But anyway, uh, it's time for the release of The Predator, which will be out in theaters next week. And I'm looking forward to seeing all three Predator films in 4K, especially the, fir the first film, because as some of you may know, Fox did come out with, with a, a Blu-ray that was very heavily DNR'd to death in terms of picture quality and everything and I think most of the characters uh, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger included, look looked like wax dolls when you look at them. So, so obviously, you know, obviously that that blue that particular Blu-ray did not get high marks. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the um, how the 4K transfer of the first Predator film holds up. But anyway, that's the Predator 3 movie collection in 4K. Whether or not I'll do an unboxing video of this, I have no idea. Okay, got about four more to show you. Okay, first. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Okay, let's see. First is the one I got, another one I got from eBay, and that is X-Men Apocalypse 4K. And I got this for $9.90 on eBay. As you can see, this is a used copy. And I'm upgrading this from the standard Blu-ray. Um, some of you may know that I got the, the steelbook for this a while back. But now that I've, upgrade, now that I've upgraded X-Men Apocalypse to 4K, I will more than likely sell the, um, the steelbook that I have. But anyway, that's X-Men Apocalypse 4K. I'm looking forward to seeing how, how the picture quality is on it. So far, I've read really good reviews on it. Okay, and the last three I got from a game store, and they were running a uh, buy two get one free deal. And the and the two that I bought are Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone 4K and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 4K, and I got them both for five ninety five. And um, I just, I need to order a, a slip cover for uh, for the Chamber of Secrets, and uh, you know I, I'll I'll go to, I'll go on eBay to do that, but I'm very happy to have the first two Harry Potter films in 4K, so all I need now is Part Three, The Prisoner of Azkaban, for 4K, and my Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts collection will be complete for the time being until Fantastic Beasts: The Crimes of Grindelwald makes its 4K debut. But again, that's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets, both in 4K. These these are the two I bought at the uh, game store and the one I got for free along with them is X-Men Days of Future Past in 4K. And, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm upgrading this to 4K. I do have the uh, Target exclusive metal pack for this along with the um, the uh, X-Men Days of Future Past Road Cut. I haven't checked out the Road Cut yet. Um, I'll probably watch it on, on a rainy day. But uh, but yeah, since I've upgraded since I upgraded uh, X-Men Apocalypse to 4K, you know, it, it you know, it it made it made sense to get Days of Future Past in 4K as well. And I don't know if some of you know this, but Fox has recently announced the first three X-Men movies for 4K. Um, to be honest, I'd rather have uh, X2 in 4K by itself, cause to be cause to be honest, of the original three, X2 is is my favorite of the series. And I hope that they announce um, the Wolverine movies for 4K because the only one that I will be getting is the. Uh, the the second film, the Wolverine, not not that abysmal X Men Origins Wolverine. I'm I'm talking about the one where Wolverine goes to Japan. I want that Wolverine film in 4K. But anyway, that's uh, X Men Days of Future Past 4K. So to recap, what I got, I got the Blu-rays of Tucker, the Man in His Dream, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Blue Velvet, and the 4Ks of the Avengers. Avengers Age of Ultron, Mission Impossible 2, 3, and Rogue Nation, Deadpool 2, Predator 3 Movie Collection, X-Men Apocalypse, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and X-Men Days of Future Past. Okay everyone, this has been my 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray haul video. Or September 3rd and you know the drill rate comment subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video and that will do it for today
Thank you for watching. Bye.